Hello YouTube, um, doing this on the phone while I'm waiting for someone because I can just never seem to make a video when it involves getting out the good camera and setting up the tripod and all that jazz. And what I want to say today is a simple method. It's about regular results versus miracle results or, or paranormal happenings. Um, and so it boils down to this. I have a rule that encapsulates sort of like the core message of strategic sorcery. And that is make a plan that might work without magic and then use magic to make sure that plan works, works well, better, faster, etc. That's like just near and dear to my heart. Uh, and I, I encapsulate, I wrote that in my last book, uh, Elements of Spellcrafting. And most people got it, loved it, lived by it. But every time I say it, I get a few people pushing back. And so this pushback happens for a number of reasons. One, they say, yes, but magic can do more than just regular things. Sometimes there are miracle results. Sometimes there are paranormal results. Sometimes you do something and something undeniably magical happens almost as soon as you do it. And you know what? That happened to me last week. Uh, there's nothing to stop a miracle result or a paranormal result when you are using this method of making a plan that might work without magic and then using magic to make sure that it works the miracles will still burst through. But we don't count on them. We don't regularly count on paranormal happenings and absolute improbable miracles to build a life on. Uh, I don't think there's anything in the history of the world or anything in the history of magic that says these things occur with such regularity that that's what you should hang your hopes on. Simple, right? Uh, the other argument is that if you do this, you won't really know if it's your magic that works. Maybe it's your regular plan that works. So, good point. Well done. Uh, so, I tell you right now that if you're out there and you're kind of stuck in life or you want to achieve something in life and you want to do something great, but you want to know that it's the magic that did it and not your own efforts, by all means, just use magic. Don't do a damn thing to help yourself. Uh, if, however, you just want to get it done and make the change in your life, then listen, give your magic something to influence, right? Magic influences change. It influences reality. It, it influences events in minds. So give it better events in minds to influence. You know? Uh, when I think about Jack Parsons, right? Uh, conjuring this, this, you know, fiery woman. And then he comes back home to his house. And lo and behold, uh, you know, Cameron is on his doorstep this beautiful red-headed woman just waiting for him. Miracle result, right? Yes. But he also ran a boarding house that catered to bohemian type people. So there was already some window there, right? So listen, folks, if you're stuck at all, um, nine times out of ten, the advice that I give to magicians and witches that are stuck and want to get unstuck is make a plan that would work without magic and then use magic to make sure that it works. And yeah, this often involves broadening out from magic. So if you read, you know, 50 books on magic a year and absolutely zero books on finances, then managing money is going to be, require you to broaden that. If, uh, you read all the books on magic, but no books on just charm and etiquette and hygiene and social relations, then, well, yeah, maybe meeting new people is going to be, require you, uh, to branch out a little bit. So, uh, 
I, I don't at all regret saying it and the people that use it, that's how they get the regular results. And they still get the occasional miracles or paranormal happenings. So that's what I wanted to say. Thank you so much. And uh, I'll make more videos soon. Cheers.